Podcast. Hello everyone and welcome to Tech with NK. In this video, I'm going to propose a solution to the exercise Figlet from CSPFT's introduction to programming with Python. I'm going to share with you how I went about this exercise. However, my aim is just to provide a few tips or ideas for you to build upon while attempting to solve it on your own. That said, let's analyze the exercise and see what's expected from us. In this exercise, we are expected to create a Python file, call it figlet.py, and implement a program that expects zero or two command line arguments, zero if the user would like to output text in a random font, two if the user would like to output text in a specific font, in which case the first of the two should be dash f or dash dash font and the second should be the name of the actual font. Also, we are required to prompt the user for a string of text and output the text in the desired font. And if the user provides two command line arguments and the first is not dash f or dash dash font or the second is not the name of a font, the program should exit via a sys.exit with an error message. And if the user provides two command line arguments and the first is not dash f or dash dash font, or the second is not the name of a font, the program should exit via a sys.exit with an error message. We've been given a number of hints to solve this exercise, which are actually very important. The first is to install PyFiglet, we need to run pip install PyFiglet. To create a Figlet object, we need to import PyFiglet and then create the object like this. Even though to solve this exercise, I'm going to do something a little bit different here. But it's not a problem. To get the list of available fonts, we are going to use this line of code figlet.getfonts using the method getfonts. This will be necessary to be able to choose a random font for the user. If we want to set a font, we can use a set font method using the parameter font. And to render the user's text, we are going to say print figlet.render text. And also, we are encouraged to use the random module so as to be able to choose a random font for the user, if the user enters no specific font. Looking at the demo, this is an example given to us. Let's say the user runs a file with dash dash font rectangles and input hello world. The output should look like this. There are a number of examples in this demo and I encourage you to play it so that you see what the exercise should look like. And if the user enters something that is invalid, when we are running sys.exit, we should pass the message invalid usage each time the user enters something that's not correct. So if the number of parameters is wrong, like we see here, invalid usage, if the parameters are not correct, like we have a dash a here instead of a dash f, invalid usage, if the user enters dash f here, but enters a font that is incorrect, we are still supposed to output invalid usage. But if everything is fine, we are supposed to output the user's input in the right format. I think now the exercise is a little bit clear and I'm just going to open VS Code to show you how to do this. In VS Code, I'm going to start by installing the package pyfiglet or say pip install pyfiglet figlet and the package has been installed for us. I'm going to create a folder using the make there command or call this folder figlet. I'm going to cd into figlet and I'm going to create the python file figlet.py and as we can see our file has been created for us we are going to begin this code by importing the necessary modules or just write a comment here or say importing necessary modules modules okay which modules do we need to solve this exercise we're going to import the module sys then we're going to import the module random and last but not the least we we'll import the module figlet and with this we've imported all the necessary modules to solve this exercise next we're going to create the figlet object like we saw in the website I'm going to say figlet will be equals to by figlet dot figlet with this done I'm going to go ahead to check the user's input making sure that the user runs this program with no argument what we're going to do is get the input from the user and format it with a random font or if the user enters two arguments, we are going to check if the two arguments are correct and if they are, print the user's output in the right format. 
and if the user enters a number of arguments that are not correct, we are just going to exit the program with the message invalid usage. I'm going to use a number of if else statements to do this. I'll start by checking if the user enters exactly two arguments. I'm going to say if the len of sys.argv is equal to 3. That's if the user enters exactly two arguments. I'll start by checking if the first argument the user enters is a dash f or a dash dash font. Or use an if else statement to do this. So I'll say if sys.argv at position 1. That will be the first argument is equal to a dash f or if sys.argv still at position 1 is equal to a dash dash font. If this is correct, what do we want to do? We want to try to set the font using the second argument from the user's input. So I'm going to say font. I'm going to use the font parameter or say font should be equal to sys.argv and I'm going to select the second parameter that the user will enter. So with these two lines of code, we should be able to check if the first parameter from the user's input is a dash f or a dash dash font and if the second parameter is of the right font. But if the second parameter that the user enters is of a wrong font, we are going to use an accept block to catch that error. So I'm going to say accept by figlet dot font not found we're going to sys.exit invalid usage so these lines of code that we've written should be able to check if the user enters exactly two arguments check if the first argument is a dash f or a dash dash font and if it's not a dash dash font or a dash f catch that error and output invalid message but if the font is actually correct we're going to change the default font to the user's desired font However, if the first parameter from the user's input is not a dash f or a dash dash font, we are still going to have to exit and so I'm going to use an else statement at this level. I'm going to say else, we are going to sys.exit with the same message invalid usage. I'm going to remove this L here and ok this should be good. So if the user's input is not a dash f or a dash dash font, sys.exit. So this first block of code should be good enough to check if the user enters exactly two arguments. But what if the user enters no argument at all? I'll say elif the len of sys.argv is equal to 1. That's if the user enters no parameter at all. We're going to start by getting all the fonts that are available in PyFiglet. Or use a variable to save all of these fonts. Or call these variable fonts. And I'm going to say figlet dot get fonts and this is going to return a list of all the fonts that are available in pyfiglet then i'm going to choose a random font from this list i'm going to use the choice method from the random package to do this i'll call this second variable random font i'm going to call the random module while calling the function choice so random choice fonts and so this should choose a random font from the list of available fonts. Then we're going to set the font using our random selection. I'll say figlet.setFont. I'll use the font parameter and I'm going to set it to random font. And this block of code should run just well if the user runs this program without any extra parameters. And at this level, if the user enters a number of parameters that is incorrect, say the user enters one parameter or four parameters or an infinite number of parameters, we just use an else block, catch any number of wrong parameters. And if that's the case, we're going to exit the code with sys.exit and pass the same message to it, invalid usage. And at this point, all we need to do is to get input from the user and print it in the right format. I'm going to move to a new line. I'm going to save this input in a variable or call it text or use the input method to get input from the user or pass a string to it or say input or give it a space for the user to enter what he wants to. Then I'm going to print this input in the right format. I'm going to use an F string to do this or say print output. I'm going to move to a new line or backslash N. Then I'm going to use curly braces 
I'll say figlet dot render text and I'm going to render the user's input. And with this done, our code should work just fine. I'm just going to save this. I'll put my terminal once more. I'll go ahead and clear this. And we're going to run this program, test it together to see how it works. I'm going to run python of figlet.py. And we've been prompted for input. That's because I didn't enter any parameters when I was running the code. I'll just go ahead and type in thank you. And this is a very weird format. Personally, I don't really like this font. I'm not even sure I'm able to see what's even written there. So I'm going to run this again while setting the font. So I'll say python of figlet.py. I'll say dash f. And we'll just go for something simple as a slant. Input. Then I'll say thank you. Thank you for watching. Let me increase the size of my terminal. And then we'll see. Thank you for watching. Let's try this again with something else. This time around, I'm just going to say good day for have a good day. And we'll say good day. And as we can all see, our code works just fine. We've come to the end of our video. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for following up to this point. Do well to hit the like and subscribe buttons to support the channel. And I look forward to seeing you in my upcoming videos. That said, once more, have a good day.